Hi, welcome to this new video in the micro learning series. In this video, we are going to talk about MVP, MMF and MMR. These are some common terms used in the context of releases in the agile projects. Let's try and understand in this video, what are these terms and are they different or they are similar? This video is brought to you by Tech Canvas. So let's get started. First of all, let's look at the expanded format. So MVP stands for Minimal Viable Product, whereas MMF stands for Minimal Marketable Feature, where, whereas MMR stands for Minimal Marketable Releases. These terms are generally used interchangeably or I have seen these terms being used in a context which they were not intended to be used. So when I was researching on this, I tried to look at the Agile Alliance website because Agile Alliance is the group which actually brought Agile into software industry. So what is MMF first? Minimal marketable feature is a small self-contained release of a software that delivers significant value to the stakeholders. That means they can focus on earning revenue from the market. That means this MMF release has to be complete in a sense that it creates value for the stakeholder for whom it is intended. Whereas MVP focuses on learning MVP releases are those releases which are small in nature, but quick and are intended to get the reaction of the stakeholders so that next move or next step in the development cycle can be taken. So the basic difference between MVP and MMF is that MVP is more closer to prototypes, whereas MMF is closer to the real product. That difference is very telling. So when we are looking to launch a product, how will we start? Do we start with MMF or do we start with MVP? The obvious answer is if we are looking to get a quick feedback and to understand how the stakeholders or how the market is reacting, we are looking at MVP first. MMF, MMP, and MMR. These are something which we use in the similar context, indicating a version of the product which can be released to the market so that the company which has made these products can earn revenue. However, they can also be platforms or the reference points for future releases using this particular product feedback and product earnings. To understand this, let's look at the car market. How car manufacturing companies use MVP and MMF to launch. Let's look at the car market. How car companies use MVP and MMF to launch products. This is a concept car, which was first demonstrated in 2014 in an auto show. This is a Renault Quid. It's a concept car. So this is more like a prototype rather than an actual product. This was launched by Renault company to make sure that they understand how people who have visited this auto expo react to this design. This is not a workable model. This is not a ready product. So Renault used it in 2014 to launch the first marketable product called Renault Quid in 2015. This is an actual product. And this is an example of MMF. This was the first release of Renault 
using the same concept or same MVP because they had got reasonably positive response. They went ahead and launched the first product. So we can call it as MMP to be very precise, minimal marketable product, which were then bought by several customers. They went ahead and now they came up with a new idea on the same platform, which was demonstrated in 2014 Auto Expo. This was in 2018. This is an electric car model. So based on the same design pattern, same learning from the market, they first launched one car in 2015. Then there were several other releases, which I have ignored for clarity purposes. In 2018, they launched this car. Then the next a small SUV was launched in 2019 this year. While I'm recording this video, this is a new launch from the same company using the same product platform. So this is how MVP and MMF or MMP work. A company uses MVP to get quick feedbacks and builds upon it. And then they start by launching different releases. I hope this has clarified the difference between MVP and MMF and how should we use it in the agile context. Thanks for being part of this video. We'll catch up in the next video.